It is late afternoon in the sheriff's office at the old city hall building, which also serves as county seat and police headquarters for a group of small northwestern towns. Well, I tell you, Johnny, that air old trout down by the railroad bridge made a fool out of me for the last time. Think he'll take that new fly, huh, sir? Ain't a fish alive can turn down this spotted hackle I tied on last night. Mm -hmm. As soon as the sun gets a little lower in the sky, I'm gonna... Yeah. Hello. Yes, it's police headquarters. What? Down by the river? I'll tell the sheriff right away. Hey, what's the trouble, Charlie? You look a little peaked there. What's the matter? It's them two city fellas. They was fishing out behind the old Johnson farm. Now one of them's dead. I left Uncle Bill's body just the way I found it, Sheriff. My name is Harold Kendall. His name was Olson. Yeah, it looks like he tripped on the roots at the edge of this steep bank and smashed his head against them rocks down by the water. I can't believe Uncle Bill is really dead. Yeah, well, ain't no use letting the body hang there by its feet. Doc Simpson, the coroner, is on his way out here. Now, easy, Charlie. Yep, careful them air roots, huh? Looks of this blood all over his face and on his shirt, he must have skinned himself up pretty bad. No. Nope. All the blood come from this one gash here inside of his head. Ooh. Hey, you say this man was your uncle? Yes, I'm what you might call his favorite nephew. Yeah. He was a bachelor. Didn't like most of his relatives. Yeah, where was you when he fell? Across the river, about 50 yards up. You can see the place from here. When I saw Uncle Bill fall... Yeah, you saw him fall. Yes, I, I didn't think it was serious at first. Uncle Bill was such a good fisherman. He was getting ready to cast his line. He walked up to the edge of the bank yeah, and... Let's see... Well, yeah, that'd put his back to the sun. Yeah, that's right. Then before he could cast, he, he seemed to stumble and fall forward. After he fell, he just hung there with his feet tangled in the roots and his head against that sharp rock where... where he... you were so careful to put it. You're under arrest, Kendall, for murder. Now for the solution to our mystery. But I told you exactly what happened. Keep your eye on him, Charlie. You seem awful sure this fella done it, Sheriff. I, I don't see how you... Well, he lied to us twice, Charlie. And the way I figure... He stands to inherit some money from that uncle of his. That is, providing he got away with this here murder, which he didn't. It was easy enough for him to hit his uncle on the head with a rock and then rig his feet in them roots to look like he tripped and fell. Ah, but he made two mistakes. The first was when he told us his uncle was a good fisherman. No good fisherman would walk up to a stream with his back to the sun and his shadow falling on the water he intended to fish in. When he told us his uncle died hanging head down, I knew he was lying. There's blood all over his uncle's face and shirt. And blood don't run uphill any more than that there river does.